Hey guys, fall fishing season's almost here and I want to show you how to tie a drum rig. It's really simple. Uh, you can do it without any tools or if you have a uh, knot tool, uh, you can do it a different way. And I'll show you both of those here in a minute. What you're going to need, what you're going to need is swivel. I'm using size one barrel swivels. So you want a, a, a pretty heavy swivel. And then a fairly large hook, you can use uh, a J hook or a circle hook. I'm using an ADOT Gamma Foxu Octopus circle hook. It has a fairly long shank um, with a good size eye. These are good hooks. I also use uh, Gamma Foxu ADOTs through 10 aught size J hooks as well as some other ones. Uh, and finally, you're going to need some leader material. I have some. Berkeley Big Game 80 pound mono, and I also have uh, some 100 pound mono, and I'm going to use the 80 today. Alright, one of the most important things is to have uh, one of your favorite drinks handy, so I have a Dogfish Head 90 minute IPA here. Um, this makes tying rigs go way better than if you didn't have it. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is actually snell the hook. Now, for these fish finder rigs um, that we're using for drum fishing uh, in the surf, um, they're fairly short rigs, so you you want to have enough or more than enough uh, leader material to start out with. Um, but for these particular rigs, we don't need a whole lot. Uh, I find that somewhere in the neighborhood of 16 to 18, 16 to 18 inches to start out with is plenty. So I'm going to use the 80 pound monofilament to start with. Now, um, when I'm tying a whole bunch of these, uh, a handy trick is um, to go ahead and cut however many you're going to tie at one time all at once. So I basically batch do these um, or batch uh, tie these rigs where I'll, if I have a pack of say six hooks, I'll uh, cut six pieces of leader material and that way I get them all the same length. Um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, snell all the hooks and then tie all the swivels on. So that just kind of makes things simple. Um, but, you know, if you're out fishing and you need a new rig and you don't have any tied, you can tie them one off or you, you can do whatever suits you best. But I like to do um, each step um, for however many rigs I'm going to do. All right, so we have our leader material and hook. Um, Take an end of it and feed it from outside the eye, through the eye, along the shank. I'm going to pull through uh, a decent amount and I'll make a loop with the um, tag on your, um, facing you or towards you and facing the same direction as the line that we pulled through the, through the hook. So the tag is facing this way to my right, your left, and um, this loop is also parallel to the hook shank. And here is the rest of the line. And then we're simply going to take our thumb and forefinger and pinch the loop along the shank of the hook up near the eye. So we have the loop pinched up near the eye. And if the eye is to your left and the bend of the hook is to your right and you have the, the loop with the tag on your side, what you're going to do is wrap um, towards you instead of away from you, you're going to wrap towards you. And you're going to take and wrap this section of the loop around itself and the hook. And we're going to do this four or five times using your thumb and forefinger to hold it against the shank of the hook. Now you want to make sure that the loop goes over the tag and the end of the hook as you wrap it around. You don't want the loop to be underneath underneath the tag like this. You want it to be over top of the, the tag so that the tag is inside the, these um, loops that we're making. 
That's two, three. Now it starts to want to twist a little bit, but you can just kind of keep everything straight as you're going. That is four. And we're going to do one more here. That's five. Now I have these all pinched in my finger. And again, we can do this with a tool, but this is really, there's no need to do it with a tool. Um, you can do this with your fingers. So I have all those loops done. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, is slowly start to tighten down this knot. Um, first, I'm going to pull, well, you, 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 you slowly pull um, both ends of the knot to, to tighten the loops. Um, so this tag is going to have just a little bit, and I'm just going to work that out. And this end right here, as I slowly pull that through, you can see this coming down. And I'm just going to draw this carefully, nice and snug, but not too tight yet. And I'm not going to tighten this down just yet because the last thing I'm going to do is just moisten this knot a little bit. I moisten it before I draw it tight now. Um, you basically need to pull both ends really hard to get this knot to tighten down, cinch down against the shank of the hook. So you slide it up close to the eye. Now you can use pliers or I just put this in between my teeth. Bite down on the line and pull. And the great thing about this is you get it nice and tight. Just work it up along the shank of the hook to the eye with your fingers. And that is one of, if not the most secure ways to tie a hook. I'm just going to trim this tag end off. Now we have the hook snelled. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and tie the swivel on. Alright, so we have our snelled hook here um, with our uh, nice hand tied snell knot and the next thing I'm going to do is tie this swivel on and I like it to be fairly short um, the the idea here for these drum rigs um, you're often fishing foul weather and you're using a large chunk of bait uh, you want that to be close to the sinker so that you have less drag when you're casting through the air and things stay closer together um, and also you want this to fish fairly close to the bottom so you know, uh, a few inches at best uh, between the swivel and the uh, eye of the hook. So what we're going to do, um, you can do this a, a number of ways. You can use a nail knot with a nail knot tool if you want, and I like that knot. Um, but sometimes you don't want to use a tool or you don't have the tool handy. And another option is to use a Palomar knot. Um, this is actually a little bit longer line than what I need. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit. Makes things a little easier to work with. So take a tag of your line, run it through the eye of the swivel. I'm going to pull this swivel down um, within a couple inches of, about an inch of the eye of the hook. Now I'm going to take the end of the line and run back through the same direction, the eye uh, or this the swivel. So what we've done is just doubled the line through the swivel. So you can see here we've doubled the line through the swivel and on one end we have a loop with our swivel over the doubled line. On the other end we have the tag and the hook. Now we're going to take this loop basically as a double line and we're going to tie an overhand knot, a very simple knot here, just an overhand knot. Just like you were beginning tying your shoes. So now we've stuck, basically have a, a double line overhand knot with the swivel in the knot. So you can see this. Next thing that you're going to do is 
apply the swivel within the knot and pass it down through this loop. So hopefully, hopefully this is easy to see. Take the, the swivel to where it can go down through this loop so that we pull the loop up over the swivel. And we're going to draw this knot tight. And before we tighten most knots, we're going to tighten them down. Before we tighten them down, we're going to moisten them. So get this started. Moisten this knot a little bit. Now go nice and slowly on this just to get it where it's starting to snug down. You pull both ends, just kind of work everything down. Pull the, the tag end before you tighten down on the hook side. And that's going to tighten this loop that we put the swivel through. Now again, I'm going to trim the end of that off to make this easier to work with. And again, you could use, you want to pull this really tight to, to tighten the knot down. You could use pliers. Um, I like to use my teeth, um, but fair warning, you could damage your teeth doing this. So I'm going to bite down on the tag end while I hold the hook. And I'm holding the hook in the bend. You don't want to hold up here and yank this hook into your hand. You want to hold the hook in the bend, hold the swivel. And just tighten that thing nice and tight. What I like about this is it's quick to tie. You have double line um, through the knot. The whole knot is a doubled line. And um, you can tie it without tools, and so it's super low tech, and you're able to tie a nice short rig. So this is about perfect for what I like to use for drum fishing. Um, then I would tie my main line onto here with a slide and sinker up top. Um, that's how you tie a drum rig. So I'm gonna get to work and tie a few more of these up so that we're all set for uh, fall drum fishing in a few weeks.